Good morning on Tuesday, the 10th of October. New Bitcoin update with the daily. Um, you can see that I marked the, this leg to the downside last week. Uh, I didn't change it yet, but it was based on the price action we had last week. What made me think or convinced that we would go down. Uh, if you look at the four hour, uh, we had that uh, rejection at the red box after doing a one, two, three. Last week, I also said we need four and five to have a bullish cycle in the longer term. Um, this impulsive move to the downside and then a bit of bounce made me convinced we would do at least a move to 26,500 more or less uh, with the possibility of, of more downside. But the price action on Thursday, Friday makes me doubt a little bit more and even gives me the feeling that we still have the opportunity that this is a fourth leg and that we now do get a fifth leg before some correction and then possibly up again. Um, but yeah, I have to say that it felt really like a strong case last week. Um, but then when we came down later in the week here, there was no break below here and I need a break below here to think that we do at least this move. Um, for now, I don't see a clear pattern to the downside. Um, and I even think that we might get that fifth leg to the upside. Uh, but that's more based on, on yeah, good feeling. Same what we had over here, over here when Bitcoin just kept going, which also back then felt yeah, a bit off, unnatural. Uh, afterwards, in, in hindsight, we heard that that micro strategy was buying Bitcoin heavily over there. What caused the price going up? Yeah, maybe something like that is also what I'm, uh, I'm looking for now. Something that is not really uh, technically ex uh, to explain, but more like a good feeling that, that we do get that move. And just to trying to trade that move I um, and to be in, in that move just for like a yeah, just in case it goes up I can be in a long I see the following last week uh, when you look here we bounced made a new high but came back down yesterday I showed you a green box for this move we bounced from that box, we break the structure because you can, yeah, well, I can better show it you in a 50 minute. So we break the structure and come down. As long as we do not break above here, I'd like to see uh, one more down. Um, don't know if we get it, if I show you something different. This is what I had this morning. So bounce from the green box, impulsive move up, a correction, which already tapped the 0.5 discount zone. But I also see here a corrective bounce. So one, two, three, one, two, three. I don't see this as an impulsive bounce and this is also not very strong. So I still see the possibility that we make a move towards uh, the green box or at least take out yesterday's low. Uh, if that happens, I, I want to look for a long. Um, if we go up from here, I let it go and probably look for shorts from here again. But uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's quite a puzzle and I do see other stuff what is also not in line not in sync, uh, altcoins look weak, the dollar looks strong, although it had a bad day yesterday, the S&P goes up the past days. Um, I, I like to, to combine all those charts and, and find my, uh, and form my bias. And at the moment it is not really clear. And let's say, like the, the saying is, uh, expect the unexpected. 
and that would be this move to the upside and that's what I'm looking now for uh, also because I just don't see short opportunities right from here maybe later from here uh, if we make this move I want to try to get in a long at least to this and maybe the surprising move to that